So when using dependent dropdowns, uh, the default options in AppSheet are, uh, they may be limited based off your situation. For example, we have a dependent dropdown here where we have regions and then based off what region you select, the countries are displayed. So for example, I click on Asia, then I can see the related countries in Asia, America, et cetera. And this works great. However, if you wanted to create something more flexible for users to use, let's say, you know, giving them the option is either search for the country or filter by region and, and let them have both options first, you can. Uh, you could do that. In this situation, it doesn't work because if I don't select anything, then I can't see a list of all the countries by itself. So what I'm going to show here is basically how you can have um, both fields available and then depending on what the user clicks on, automatically filter as needed. So this gives the flexibility to filter uh, the data but also allows you to not have to you know, choose a region if you don't have to and just go ahead and select the country. If that's really all you care about from a app developer perspective. So to set this up in AppSheet, what we want to do is um, we want to go into the uh, country because that's basically the, you know, dependent on the region itself. And if I were to come down here, we're going to modify the valid if statement here. So instead of having something in here where, you know, typically before we might just have a, a select formula uh, that basically chooses the countries based off the region I was selected, uh, we're going to add an if statement here. So we're going to consider both situations. So one is a situation where if the region is blank, meaning if the user hasn't selected a region yet, then we're going to have a formula here that basically just pulls all of the countries, right? That's what this true means for the second part of the select function. We're just gonna basically pull a list of all the countries. However, the moment that this is not true, then actually it's going to dynamically switch to a new formula here that will then filter by region. So that's really all you have to do. It's um, you know fairly straightforward, but you know being aware of how you can use uh, conditional logic inside your validation rules or really throughout any part of your app can be very useful in situations like this where you need to give users more flexibility outside of what is typically just presented in the platform.